Hello, we're looking at some artwork done by Jason. And this is the first one. He's been using some uh, oil pastels lately. So, do you want to say anything about this one? Well, I think this is one of the first, I mean, I, I'm just generally in life, I'm a latecomer to art, but this is like the first time I've ever used oils pastels. So this may be only my second or third oil pastel ever done, and it's just an abstract one, so really you can read into it whatever you want. But it, it was really fun. I like putting all the different colors in and everything. So Yeah, and you did blending? Yeah, I, I blended with uh, the white pastel, and also um, there's actually a little, uh, underneath it all, there's some colored pencil too, but I don't think that really shows through too much. Okay, well that's number one. Now this next one was done with a glass pen, right? Glass dip pen. With yeah, this was a, yeah. a glass dip pen with just some red ink. And that's just like a funky fantasy-esque type drawing. Um, and I'm going to lift this up and show a little bit of detail of this one. I love this one. This looks like a little person there. Okay, that's number two. Now the next one is another oil pastel. And you want to talk about this? Sure. Um, actually, we were down at Maccabi today, which is a local coffee shop. And I uh, finished this one down there today. And I think I started it at home before we went down. And I just wanted to do a sunset on the water. Because, and I kind of... Um, did the same thing with the sand and the rocks that I did on a drawing of a beach that we were actually at up in Erie, which is nearby. And, uh, I don't know, it, it was just fun to do. Yeah, well, you have a lot of nice colors in the sky here, oh, too. That's nice. I'm just going to kind of show a close-up of this one, too. Now, this is, might be my favorite. <clears throat> now this one is just, uh, I don't know, I just kind of started off with, um, can I put my hand in? Yeah. It kind of started off with, like, these um, triangular pyramidical shapes. I don't know if pyramidical is a real word, but pyra pyramid-like shapes. And then I just eventually colored them in and, uh, and then just worked from there and just made it up as I went along. And I thought I'd make these into, like, some rock monuments there, and maybe a rock city or an old city in the desert or something, some kind of old other planet or something, I don't know. It was just fun to do, and I, I like a lot of fantasy and sci-fi and alternate reality type stuff and just abstract art, so. Now, did you think of it as a whole landscape or, like, different landscape scenes? Uh, just different scenes, really. I... I just kind of, uh, I know it wasn't a whole landscape. It was just a bunch of different scenes. Hmm. This like, one's really nice. Thanks. Got some beautiful colors and just nice detail and things. This one I like a lot. Okay. Now, I think this one you did today, right? I did. Um, I started this. I think I started this at Vakavi, if I'm correct about that. I can't remember. And I finished it at home tonight. And it's just, uh, I don't know much about how to re recreate lighting, different ways the light falls on different objects from a different perspective, different perspectives from any real experience from a lot of drawing. But I noticed that like the, the way I drew this part, or I drew this part, it kind of looked like the sun was coming from this up here. So I tried to draw some yellow onto the gray and hopefully make it, make it look like it was blending in to form some sort of lit surface. Okay, good. Now this is another oil pastel. Now the next one is acrylic paint. Yeah. And want to talk about this? Just... I'm trying to remember how I did that. Oh, that's with a palette knife. With a palette knife? Yeah. And then you did some... I drew like, in it with that. Drew so, in it with the palette knife? Well, I know I drew in it, well... Or was well. it the back of it, a brush? It was the back of a brush, yeah. And it was just experimenting with just 
So while the paint shapes. while the paint was wet, yeah, you kind of scratched into it, yeah, and got these lines. Yeah. Wow, this one also beautiful, very nice, and, I, and the colors and just everything about it, I like. Okay, well Thank that you. is good. Now we're going to look at a couple things that he has in sketchbooks. So he's just going to pick those out now. And this, which way does this go? This that way. way yeah. Okay. Now this is colored pencil. Yeah. It's just colored pencil. Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, it's just an abstract thing. It kind of looks like, well, whatever you want it to. I just like the colors in it and uh, the shapes. Yeah. Now, do you and think I mean, this is one you did at Vacavi, or you did it here? I did do it at Vacavi, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to show a close-up of this. I like this one a lot. It has, like, it looks like these parts are moving, and it's got some movement to it. Okay, and, and then he's two, got two more out two of more, here. And that's it, after that. Oh, how about that one? Oh, I love that one. Three more, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So these are grid journals yeah and now it looks like on this one you used uh pit pen um regular well, colored pen and colored pencil okay these are so nice and it's and it's different when you do these because these are more like creativity exercises yeah, right you, you did a video on them right on i did the, do a video about grid, grid journaling. journaling and jason's really gotten to like this it, way of doing things it's very therapeutic and it is just fun to see to try not to uh, focus on a finished product and just right because when you start you don't know where it's going right you don't know what you're going to do you don't even know what colors you're going to use or anything Nothing, you just yeah. do it as it, it happens uh, this this is the next one right yeah okay and this one actually has a, some collage in it but other, other than that it's pit pen and uh, colored pencil Right. Very nice. I love these. And this has some alcohol marker and pit pens and I think those colored uh, Bic pens, right? Yeah, I think so. Was this of a coffee too? Mm -hmm. Or here? You know, I can't remember. Yeah. I think this was here. Was that it or do you want to look that's and it. see if there's anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's the last one. So this has been just looking at some recent artwork by Jason, and uh, he's really good, and it's just fun to see what well, he thanks. makes. <laughs> okay, so that is it. You have anything to say? Uh, no, I just, thanks for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.